Alright, good day guys, and welcome to, um, just kind of like a little, um, well, kind of, I guess, documenting video, I don't really know what to call it, but I'm pretty much just, uh, this isn't really a tutorial, it's just kind of showing you a few very basic steps on how to make your, um, well, as you can see in the title, on, like, how to make your own, uh, keyblade. Now, not like a full-size, like, 50-inch keyblade, because, um, I realized not too long ago that, um, I keep looking at, like, eBay pages for, um, people that, uh, make, like, metal, like, stainless steel keyblades, and they run for, like, like, 60 bucks, and it's actually a really good deal, um, and in all honesty, I am planning to actually probably pick one up at some point, but I want to wait until after PAX East to see, um, if there are any, um, if there are any, like, what are they called, uh, booths, any booths that are selling them, because I know at Comic-Con they were selling them all over the place, um, they're selling, like, Master Swords, and, like, Energy Swords, and, like, King Hearts Keyblades, so I'm gonna wait until then, because that adds the whole ship shipping, uh, cost, so it'll be a lot cheaper if I just go and buy one, like, you know, straight up, uh, in person, in Boston, and then ride on a bus with a giant fucking, like, 50-inch weapon, um, but yeah, they're pretty useless, and you can't really do anything with them unless you cosplay, and personally, I don't cosplay, but... I found out, um, by versing the internet and, uh, making a combination of a bunch of different people's, um, ways to create Keyblades, I found out a way to make my own Keyblade. Um, like I said, it's much smaller, and then there's actually two different versions. There's the, there's, like, the medium one, and then there's the really tiny one. That's probably, like, maybe this big. Maybe. So, like, I'm gonna show you, I've, I've already created the really small one, and, um, I'm gonna just kind of show you a few clips of me putting together, um the, uh, the medium-sized one, because I haven't done it yet, so I'm actually pretty excited about doing it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all this is at the moment. Um, uh, so let's just get into a few of the basics here. Here we are, we got our Kingdom Hearts Keyblade template. This is the Kingdom Key. And pretty much all you want to do is you want to just get, like, printer-sized paper, you know, just, and kind of get it as big as you can, and this is going to be your template, alright? Now, obviously, I used scissors. These are scissors, in case you didn't know. You cut things with these. Um, to cut this into a much smaller size. Because now I'm going to take this tape, okay? And we're going to tape it um, to pretty much create a, um, a more or less a final product. So, next thing you want to do is you want to take, you know, medieval... I'm using medieval times. Uh, you want to take, like, a nice just wooden weapon, okay? You want to take it, you want to place it like so. Mm hmm. I'm going to take the tape again, like so. Just get a nice, really long piece here. And we're just going to take it, and we're just going to wrap it around. Oopsies. Just wrap it all around this thing. Like so. Whoops, getting a little sloppy. Wrap it around like so. Get a longer piece. Kind of just flatten it out a bit. Okay. And whoops. It really doesn't want to stay. It's being kind of annoying. You gotta just kind of make the paper your bitch. Alright, so a few more wrap arounds. Alright, there we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Just kind of like that. And almost done. Okay. Alrighty. And there you go. That's your keyblade. Now you can use this um as, you know, uh, cosplay, you can use it pretty much however you want. You can, I mean, you can alter this. This is a pretty rough design here. I'm just gonna tear that apart so it kind of stands out. So, you know, you got, like, you can't, this tape, but the keyblade's there. That's what matters, is that, you know, it's, it's in there. And so you can, you know, like, you know, just do, like, sore moves, like, ah, like, you know, what Sora does, but with just with this. It's a it's just a lot cheaper, better way to cosplay. It's a lot cheaper, better way to make your own very own collector's item. Um 
you know, hell, I could probably put this on eBay, and someone would probably buy it. Someone would probably purchase this, and be like, damn, that guy knows how to make a Keyblade. See that, like, it's just a really, like, kind of economy-efficient way, you know, to, instead of making your parents go out and spend $200, or instead of spending your own $200 on shit, like a, you know, a Keyblade, like, see, here, just remove some tape, damn, right there, beautiful, looks perfect, I mean, you can tell it's a Keyblade, and that's really all that matters, that's what really, that's really all it comes down to, is that you know deep down inside that this is a Keyblade, okay, so, um, I guess now I'll just show you my smaller version, um, it's of my favorite, um, the Decisive, the Decisive Pumpkin, so I'm just gonna go and get that for you right now. Okay, so, you know, of course, I gotta make, you know, a few test, tests on, you know, if this, if this really works or not. So, of course, I used my favorite Keyblade of all the Kingdom Hearts series, uh, at least right now. I don't know. We're gonna see how a Dream, do or a dream Drop Distance uh, turns out, because that looks kind of awesome. Um, but yeah, so here's the Decisive Pumpkin, and it's much smaller. Um, as you can see, I did use a um, Feminine Massage for it. Uh, because that way, you can put batteries in this, and it'll vibrate, which will, you, you know, increase the effects of, you know, um, like, you know, that you're actually wielding a weapon. Um, and this, I think, turned out better because, you know, you can kind of take, like, the chain here, and, you know, with this version, you know, the chain's kind of just part of this, so you don't get that feel that it's kind of just extra, you know, kind of dangling there. But with this... I'm wielding this around, I kind of just clench my fists around it like that, and you just, you know, great for, again, great for, uh, cosplay. I might actually use this at, uh, PAX, uh, because it just, it just seems, you know, it's really good for cosplay. Maybe I'll use the, uh, this one. Hmm, who knows? I don't know. Or, unless I sell this, because, <laughs> you don't know, I might sell it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, if you want to know anything else... Just email me with their email me, message me on, or you don't know my email, uh, message me on YouTube with, um, you know, just questions. And, uh, like I said, it's so much easier than spending, what, $50, $70, $80, some, some of them run for like $200. It's just so much better and an easier way of, you know, you're, you, you turn it into a little fun project instead of getting fucking stainless steel and like sharpening it and like, melding it, and, like, welding it, and smelting it, and smelting it, and pelting it, and taking, like, beaver fur, and tying around a stick, and turning it into a keyblade, or get a feminine massage, feminine inner body massage, I guess, is what it, what's technically called, uh, the glitz g-spot, um, I'm not really sure, it's waterproof, though, so that's, it's kind of cool, because then it almost acts like, you know, you know, some Keyblades have special attributes, like, this is good for, like, this is, like, uh, increases, like, your, your blizzard attack, I guess, I don't know, um, so you just kind of, you know, um, but yeah, it's just a much cheaper little weekend project that you can do, uh, so yeah, that's it, again, you know, message me on YouTube if you have any questions, leave, you know, any tips you have for me in the comments below, um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, because uh, they were fun to make for me. And I'll see you in whatever I do next. Whoopsh, whoopsh.